Hey, Mike Brailsford, Brailsford Woodworks. Thank you for joining me back on my channel. Today I have a special guest. I have my sister Deb with me. Nice to meet you. So, uh, I am of a family of six kids. There was five sons. Uh, and my parents decided after having five sons that their luck wasn't too good. And so in uh, November of 1967, they adopted my sister. And um, she has uh, never, it was never hidden from her. Our, our parents were very open. She always knew she was adopted. But again, she was, I mean, she was my sister. And it was never, it was never any doubt in any of my family's mind that she's, She's us, and she's a Brailsford. Um, in 1991, uh, my sister unfortunately lost a baby, and um, after that, uh, she it was an impetus for her to to find something of her medical history and her and her family history, and she uh, found her birth mom. And in 92, she met, and she's carried on a relationship with her for 30 30 years, 30 years. and um um why don't you tell us uh what's happened to, to teresa well <clears throat> um last year she um they found breast cancer they caught it very early and um we thought she was able to beat that and then some months later um she had esophageal cancer and we thought she was doing well with that, and apparently it metastasized, and um, she passed away April fifteenth from um, from peritoneal cancer, really. Um, and I was very lucky to be up there uh, her last few days, and um, I was lucky to spend time with my birth family there, and my half brother and my half sister. Um, I'm sorry for that, Deb. Thank you. But Deb got up with me, and she had gotten a small amount of Teresa's ashes, and she asked me if I could turn her an urn. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. And um, I had taken out a few pieces, uh, bowl blanks that I had uh, for her to decide what she might like. Um, I got a piece of white oak here, a small piece of sycamore, and uh, some pecan. And... Um, I think she has decided on the sycamore. So without further ado, let's get on with the turning. Here we go. All right, Deb, the first thing we're gonna use is my three quarter inch bowl gouge. And all I'm gonna do is basically try to get it into um, more or less a cylinder form. Then I'll start forming from the bottom up. And what I'll do is I'll probably make a kind of a a teardrop shape, an inverted teardrop, and then I will hollow it from the top. Then I'll make a, we'll find something else to make a lid with. So I'm now starting to form from the bottom so we can get that inverted teardrop shape. When I'm, uh, when I'm holding the, the gouge on the tool rest, the, my left hand, all it's doing is keeping downward pressure on the tool on the tool rest. All of the driving for the, the tool itself is coming from my right hand on the handle. And I use, it, I use the push cut.
you do have to make quick, frequent stops, check the progress, see what you're doing. Um, this here is actually, this whole layer here is bark. I need to get past that um, and get down into the yellow stuff is actually sapwood. And the, the brown is, is heartwood. But uh, you can see, I just love the grain of this sycamore. It's some of the most beautiful wood I've ever turned. And it smells believ unbelievably nice. Still a tiny bit of the bark left. Start sh making the bottom flat and then get ready to cut my mortise that will hold the the piece in the chuck. So about done with the rough shaping, I do have to decide I'm not going to use a mortise, I'm going to use a tenon on this one, which I, the only difference is that I'll have a little more work in shaving it off at the end. Let me uh, shape that up right now. Let's flip it over, get it in the chuck. All right, so I'm going to drill out uh, for the um, to start hollowing, and I use a two and a half inch Forstner bit and with lathe work instead of the drill bit turning the drill bit stays stationary and you turn the work instead So, had a bit of a blowout here. I have to reshape this top a little bit before I start hollowing.
Okay, I've got myself a piece of Norway maple here. I think that'll make a nice contrast to the sycamore. Um, I got it on a wormwood screw. What I'm going to do is I'll get the get it round enough for me to hold it in the chuck. Then I'll spin it around and finish it up. This is really my first finial. I think I'm pretty happy with that. On the top here. I think that looks pretty good. I'll glue it in, and then I'm gonna spray the the uh, the urn. I'll be right back. Alright, so this is my first attempt at a at an urn. Deb, you please. I love it. I'm yes. glad you do. I appreciate it so much. Yeah, I Made think the maple. Love. I think the maple sets off the yeah. sycamore nicely, and um, I think it looks pretty darn good. It looks awesome. And uh, should plenty of room. Yes. And it's my first shot at a finial. I'm pretty happy with how that came out. And uh, all right. Thank you all for watching. Um, 
please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And uh, please all stay safe. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.